Okay, this is question number seven in the 2024 paper one, and we are in the memory topic. This question is all about types of long-term memory. It is a straightforward four marker outline two ways in which episodic memories are different from semantic memories, okay? There shouldn't be too much to say here. Obviously, you've got to know what episodic memories and semantic memories are, but there are plenty of ways in which we could compare these. You could say what the memories actually consist of. You could talk about whether they're time stamped, whether they require conscious retrieval, where they are in the brain in comparison to one another. There's loads of things that you could potentially say. Okay, so let's have a look at possible answers. So, a clear difference using comparative language. That is also very important here, okay? So the mark scheme and the examiners look for language that is comparative. That means that you're using things like whereas, on the other hand, that sort of stuff, just to really hammer it home that you are comparing two different things. Okay? So, one way in which episodic memories are different is in terms of what they are. So they are personal memories of specific events such as birthdays or a holiday. Whereas semantic memories are general knowledge and concepts such as knowing that London is the capital of England. Okay, and then my second difference um, episodic memories are time-stamped, meaning they include information about when they happened or contextual information. Semantic memories, on the other hand, are not time-stamped and exist without a specific time or event attached to them. Okay, now I will just say this here as well. Examples and explanations of terms are always a nice thing to add, particularly if you have a question that is four marks or above. It just gives a little bit more detail and it shows the examiner that you understand. You're more likely to get the full marks if you can say, listen, this is timestamped, and then actually explain what timestamped means rather than just saying episodic memories are timestamped, whereas semantic memories are not. Okay, that is quite brief, and so I feel like it's not too much extra effort to actually explain what those concepts are or to give an example of what a personal memory might be um, and you're more likely to then, to then collect the full amount of marks when it comes to marking the paper. Okay, so get into the habit of adding that sort of detail because it will make a big difference when it comes to actually completing the exam. All right, nice straightforward one there. Hope that's made sense and I will see you in the next one.